a return to Let's Play Caesar 3. Decapulum. Caesar is at today's gladiator tournament and is unable to see you himself. He has asked me, his proconsul for Roma, to brief you on your next assignment. Now that you have proven your skills, you are to found a small city just south of Rome. To build the city up to a modest level, you must provide more goods and services than you have achieved thus far. Plan carefully. Rome's Senate expects a good return on the starting money it entrusts to you. Your new province is rich in resources. Set up industries and trade routes and export goods to earn the extra funds that you will need. Make sure your citizens pay their taxes, too. You should construct a dock so that you can trade overseas. Build the dock on the river with the flotsam and make sure that it has a warehouse nearby to store exports and accept any imports. Trade ships will approach your dock when you open a sea trade route and tell your trade advisor which goods to buy and sell. Like most buildings, the dock needs road access to labor. Caesar's expectations for you are not excessive. He will rate your performance in five categories. Peace, prosperity, culture, favor, and overall population size. But the goals he has set you are rather low. Anything else that he asks of you should easily be within your power to provide. He will be particularly pleased if you fulfill his requests promptly. Oh, and a word of caution. Heed carefully any reports of worsening mood among your citizens. Your people will not forgive much just because of your newness to governing. If your city has high taxes, low wages, little food, or lots of unemployment, it will be hard to attract immigrants, and citizens might turn to crime. Your advisors are always available with help and advice. A large part of the secret to good governance lies in using all of the information at your disposal. Whenever things aren't going as expected, take the time to find out why and learn how to correct the problem. Capua is under no military threat, so your management skills alone will ensure your success. Okay. Hopefully that is only a thing with my headset. Uh, I can only hear out of my left ear. <laughs> Hoping is not a uh, problem with the game. Uh, okay, so we got uh, we got a bit going on here. The the massive amounts of animals in this game is a little bit crazy. I mean the the herds of zebra and sheep and deer and packs of wolves are just outrageously large. Um, okay, so what do we want? I think we're probably going to want a pretty simple one here, uh, right access to food right there. Uh, alternatively, maybe I should just build my housing blocks right here, side by side. I think two big housing blocks could probably do this. Um, Maybe one small housing block just to provide the people necessary for, for all of this. What do we have here, actually? Uh, for farms, we've got wheat, fruit, and olives. Okay. Still no animal things. We've got clay and timber. This game... Okay, here's the oracle. We've got larger temples as well. Uh, this game definitely seems to uh, be throwing us into the deep end very quickly. There's a lot of things that the tutorial is not really covering, and um, that's that's interesting. So, you know, obviously the game has a manual, as all games used to once upon a time. Um, but, whereas, like, Zeus, for example, sort of was a little bit redundant in how, uh, how the manual worked with the uh, tutorial, kind of don't have that here it's like all at, all at once so we will definitely clear all this out which is not so great because I do need timber I don't want to kill all of my forest but I do need some building space so 
having now separated to the appropriate three. I think I'm still going to have to go up a bit here. Okay, I'm pretty sure this turns in a different direction than it does in other games. I think it would be better if we separated these. And let's say a separation of well, at least two. That way I can at least put some buildings in between that will uh, get both of them. And I think I'll put... Oh boy, now this is kind of a difficult one, isn't it? I'll take that away, because I really don't want things to get overly complicated here. having a middle distribution area come through here. Boy, I'm probably actually looking at wiping out most of my stuff. I don't think that's a great idea. Um, anyway, let's get our stuff in here. Possible. Fountain, fountain, and we're going to need the aqueduct, well, reservoir, actually. So this is the one that's full. If I could maybe get it here. I guess we'll see if that is actually going to work. Yes. they just don't have labor. Maybe that's why it's hanging out like it is there. Gotta speed things up a little bit. Yeah, this just this seems like a future problem here good the fountains are. Oh, and they've also changed. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to do that, and then we're going to kill this. So, okay, let's also now look at putting in, well, we could put some stuff in here. It's going to be surrounding the area, ultimately. I really just don't know where I want to put these. I think 
this is actually going to be a very big deal. You need temples. How big is how big is big here? Okay, too big to fit in there. Ooh, an oracle would fit right in there. Now the thing about the oracle is that it requires uh, marble, so I can't just use that, unfortunately. I've got access to everything right now. Okay. Well, I think we're going to have to get rid of this forest in order to get all my industry and everything up and running here, which is pretty detrimental. Maybe one thing I can do is just load up this stuff with all the temples to the gods. see how big of a pain this is. I guess we'll do something like this as an end cap in order to run something like this so we can actually get a distribution network up in here. Hunger halts immigrants. Yes, yes, yes. Working on it. Not gonna lie, this feels uh, quite a bit more hectic. I think it's just largely because I don't know what I'm getting into. It being a relatively new game for me. So, uh, the governor's house is actually important, uh, because I need my own funds. Uh, I should have... Let me look here. Is it finances? Personal salary, there we go. So I'm getting a little bit of a personal salary. And the personal salary is actually what's going to allow me to build According to, to the, uh, oh, I guess not. According to the manual, it says I can build that only with my own funds. Right, so that does not appear to be an issue. Probably also want to do some baths. Oh man, like all of this stuff now is just kind of... See, the way the G-block works is that you put all your stuff on the outside and it is separate. So, like, I should probably actually destroy a road here. I really want this to work out. So, like, I would put uh, all the undesirable stuff out here. Now, I think baths are actually okay. Need access to a full reservoir, so they, they're not close enough. Okay, undo the last action. Destroy that one. And suddenly I have hearing in my right ear again. back to health. It seems 
to have changed some of the sound effects. Suddenly that's very loud in my ear. I think 60's okay for that, but maybe 35? Variety in food also has an impact. What else do we need early on? thing we really just need is food. We've got a massive amount of unemployment. I definitely think I need to change the layout here on how these how these inspectors and whatnot work out, because they just, they don't. Especially now that I've got you know, these cross... crossroads in here. Okay, seriously, what is that sound effect? unemployment, low food level, poor health. They want libraries. I don't know that we need libraries right now, to be honest. Kind of a bad time for that. Could maybe do some schools, I suppose. Start getting a little bit of education going there. I need... Shit. Do that. I need a large amount of... Uh, Apparently we've got crime or something going on? I don't know, people are dying. Okay, another thing I'm going to do here, and I may regret this. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And put in... Yep. We're having crime. Ah! Muggings. Uh, that is the first stage of a crime problem. According to the manual. You would hope that the prefects would be handling that. They are not. People are leaving. That's how poor this is going. People are dying. Oh my god. This escalated very quickly. Fuck. 
back, man. See, the game... <laughs> the game has got so many problems so quickly. I honestly don't know how to deal with what's going on right now. This is a this is a bad place to put these, by the way. They don't like living next to hospitals. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna leave this episode just as an example. Um, but I'm gonna start this over because holy shit! See, I think this is why I never got into the Caesar games and why I don't like it. This just this is so so crazy so quickly so suddenly what the hell is going on is it just the evolution of these things that has to be it maybe i've over evolved these and suddenly the problems come along with them but it's just like my god i barely have this place established and there's been so many demands already i don't know i'll start this over but i'm gonna end this one here i'll see you next time <laughs>